Welcome back to Go for Football with Jerry Kill. I'm Natalie Nias. This weekend, the Gophers will battle Michigan on the road. The Wolverines are coming off a bye week after going undefeated through non-conference play. To find out what the Gophers can expect when they visit Michigan on Saturday, Mike Max joined Coach Kill in the film room. Thanks very much. Connecticut took a pretty good shot at Michigan. They, and this is what they did all night as we look at it on film. Tried to roll out and tried to make this play. They, they did it. They did a good job here. And, you know, Michigan's got a lot of speed. I, this is where I worry. They're very good up front. And uh, that's where you win games. But uh, you know, they get them caught up in the play action, get the end to squeeze, and they seal the end with the backside fullback. And then they get out on the perimeter and get the tight end on the drag because of the commitment on the run. So it's um, you know very very good football play. Iowa did it a couple times to us in the ball game uh, where they run the ball and then you get the, the naked out on the perimeter. And they like to use that tight end, and you guys have a couple of athletic tight ends as well. I mean, this doesn't look that far removed from Minnesota football. No, and, uh, you know, probably, again, you got to look at the – we didn't get Max any touches. We didn't get him the football yeah. on Saturday, and, and that's not good on yeah. our part. we got to get him that's the football. That's not the game plan. No, no. no. Now, on the uh, you look at Devin Gardner, of course, and uh, we saw him last year at TCF Bank Stadium. He can do a lot of things, and he can buy a lot of times, so he can make a lot of people look good. Yeah, he just makes you nervous. And here's here's something that, you know, this is, you know, we play good defensive football, and this is exactly what he did to us a year ago a couple times. You get him all boxed up, you feel like you got good pressure, then he slides out around it. And instead of just taking off and running, he keeps his head down the field. Yep. Then, then, then he overcommit. And this guy, and the kid slides back, and there you go. What is the rule of thumb when a guy's behind the line screaming scrambling? For you your get, defensive backs. Get them to stay locked up. Don't go back into the backfield. You, you, so, so many of them want to think they're going to go up here and make the play. Absolutely. They have to stay locked up. You know, right here, he's got to stay locked up. And he didn't. His eyes are here. You and the definition right of a there. great quarterback is somebody that keeps looking downfield. Yeah, looking downfield. Those are the ones that hurt you. And, and uh, I, that's a tough answer right there because you can, you know, you can contain him and then he steps up and around. And, and uh, so. You know, no matter what you do, you better have somebody signed to him. I mean, it's as simple as that. And uh, got a lot of got a lot of respect for the kid, and and they're they're just good across the board. But again, this this you don't draw these plays up. No, now. <laughs> you, no. Don't, you don't draw all this up, and then scramble, and then like I said, he, he's he's going to go, he's going to stay with Gardner, and then he just stops. In you know, a nutshell, that is the fear of Michigan right there. Not just yeah. they run the football, but that they can do that. Natalie. The Gophers are hitting the road for Saturday's game to do battle with the Michigan Wolverines. It's another 2.30 p.m. kickoff that will be aired nationally on ABC. Up next, we put the spotlight on David Cobb. Here's the give to Cobb. Big hole left side. Inside the 10. Steps out of a tackle at the 5. Into the end zone. Wow, what a 